All right, Bob, we're talking about knee bending, knee flexion after knee replacement. And we have found, and we both agree, we concur, correct? Absolutely. Right. That we've got a method that gives you the best success to get that knee to bend. It really works. So hold on. We'll be right back. Stick around. Bob and Brad, the two most famous physical therapists on the internet. This works because the patient is in the control. Right, and we're talking about the patient is using their arms, actually, to get the knee to bend. And when you're in control, you know the pain is under your p control, and you relax more, <laughs> things work better. What are you laughing at? <laughs> well, you stumble a little bit. <laughs> Okay, Brad. Yeah, let's let's take do it away. Explaining here. So after a knee replacement, or you want your knee to bend in a chair sitting, is almost everybody, all every therapist right. who do this is say it's time to scrub the floor. So they either put a towel on the floor if you have a rug like a here. washcloth. Yep. And if it's on carpet, that doesn't work. You put it like this a piece of plastic that's smooth, and then you start going back and forth like this. Now, if the therapist comes and they push on us to get it to bend, chances are you're they not. They don't like it. Yeah, the All patient right. inherently, instinctively. Tightens up. Tightens up and things don't work so well. But right. if the patient can even use the other leg to push, they're in control. It relaxes more. You get better bend. Yep. Well, show another option. All right. Yeah. So this doesn't always work. If you want to use your arms for power, right. you, you take a strap. Not your legs. And you put the strap around each leg, just as we've shown, and you put an eye or a loop in it. Put that down. Put your foot in there. The only reason you put the loop in there is so it, it wraps around. We'll go like this, around the uh, ankle. Yeah. And it just does a nice job of holding right. on. And now there's like a pulley system on each leg. I pull with my arms. Get to the point where it starts to hurt. <sighs> Relax. Push, breathe, push. Brad. Yep, and breathe. then come back. Breathe and relax and just let the leg go. It's going to hurt a little bit, but you got to break up that scar tissue, That's right, right, Bob? It's a race against time. You're not yeah. going to get it all in one day, but if you don't do it and you leave it for a week, you're going to have problems. So now is, why don't we show the knee guide? Right. So all this works fine, except for this sliding on the carpet. There's a lot of resistance there. It doesn't work the best. So if you would like to make things easier. The lightweight knee guide. Yes, it is lightweight, 3.1 pounds. And put that down, and you'll see foot fits in there nicely, much smoother. It's or like, if you want to stand. Yep. You can put it up. This is probably one of the biggest advantages right. of this tool is that it goes up at an angle, and that makes a big difference. More comfortable. That more comfortable. Uh. The ankle, it just is a better angle on the ankle, and the knee works good, and we slide down. And you can do it with this drop. Yep. So I'm going to put it down for now and do exactly the same thing. Strap through here. Get it in there. Da, 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 da. There. Brad singing. <laughs> yeah. Okay, here we go. And we pull, stretch, and relax. So that's when you get to the point where it, whoa, that's in. Well, then you simply slide that in a little bit right. more. La -de -da. Whoa, right there, I'm kind of stuck. So sometimes if you just do this, and you're at that point where you can't get any farther, this can get you past. But again, you really need to relax, let your knee bend, work with that pain, breathe. So I'll show you one more thing. Okay. All right, there's another trick to help get the knee to bend when it's being difficult. It's called the contract relax technique. If you're a physical therapist, you know exactly what I'm talking right. about. If not, we'll show you. Uh, and what we're gonna do is you're gonna slide the knee back until you get to the point where it doesn't wanna go, it's starting to stretch. Right. A little painful, not too much. And then you're going to push your foot out away from you, but you're going to hold it with this hand so it cannot move. So it's an isometric. Right. And we're going to push out and hold. That's the contract push, part. Pushing right yeah, now, right? I'm pushing right now. Right now, my quadriceps are working so as right hard now. as they can. 
yep. for about five to ten seconds. And what happens is after you do that, the muscle gets tired and then it relaxes. It really rise. Yep. So that's the yeah. relaxed part of the, the word. And then you go past, and because this muscle is relaxed, it allows a little You'll more. You'll go a little yeah. farther. Right. And, you know, and you may only gain, you know, if you gain five more degrees doing this, that's big. Right. Because you do it again the next day and you gain another five. Right. That's ten. Ten. <laughs> Absolutely. And so on and so forth. And, you know, uh, you know, you could combine that with the incline and actually get a few more degrees just because of the fact we're going downhill and it adds a little more assistance. Bob, I'm telling you. Got to be good be Benny. He bent. <laughs> <laughs> All right, once you get that knee bending and you're getting close to that 100, 120 degrees and things are going fairly good, you're walking with it better, then we need to start strengthening the hamstrings a little bit more. Uh, that is a really another advantage of this is you put the incline going towards you, put your foot on there and pull up. And that is primarily hamstring strengthening. Yeah, you feel it. Yeah, you do that for 60 seconds, <laughs> you're going to feel it. You, you might not right. go that long at first because you're right. going to cramp. Absolutely. Uh, so you're going to do that as tolerated build up. You could put weights around it. Yeah, okay. yeah, put an ankle weight around there. And that also increases the resistance. So, yeah, very nice. There we nice. go, bad. You really can't go wrong with it. Your so. knee look good. Yeah, look at that, baby. <laughs> look at that sexy knee. Yeah. I got to. Please. See what my wife says about that. <laughs> really? <laughs>